So, some alarming news coming out of the United Kingdom as the death toll from the pandemic crosses 108,000. Scientists say that the variant first detected in the UK is evolving and could possibly be more resistant to vaccines. Experts there are also tracking the changes in the virus's genetic code. CBS News' Roxana Saviri is in London. Roxana, you know, what's happening over there? Sort of bring us up to speed. Anne Marie, people in this neighborhood are getting tested for the variant first detected in South Africa. And now scientists here are warning that the UK variant may be mutating in a way that mimics it. The good news is this country has become very skilled at hunting for mutations. England is racing to find and stop the highly infectious South Africa variant of COVID-19 before it's too late. Adding to the urgency, scientists here have discovered that a mutation in that variant has now appeared in the UK variant, raising concern the virus is evolving and could become more resistant to vaccines. The virus over time um, is improving itself. It's a matter of natural selection. It's the survival of the fittest. Issue Sharon Peacock leads a nationwide network of scientists tracking those transformations more closely than anywhere else in the world. We are looking for mutations, and that, those mutations really give us a barcode for the virus. Every day at labs like this one, robots and researchers sift through thousands of samples of COVID-19, mapping mutations in the genetic code. This is the sequence genome, down here, and this is individual patient samples. Last November, they spotted something alarming. 23 mutations, mainly in the spike protein of the virus, allowing it to latch onto cells more tightly, making it much more contagious. That means, for example, if 10 people with old variants of the virus could infect 13 others, now they could infect around 20. That's really important because more people can get sick and therefore more people are likely to die simply from the burden of disease. As what's since been dubbed the UK variant has swept across the world, the US and many other nations have tightened travel restrictions. Germany and Austria now mandate medical grade masks in most public places, and the UK has imposed a third nationwide lockdown. As COVID-19 mutates, scientists here say the world also needs to do more genetic sequencing like this. They say in these efforts, the US needs to catch up. The U.S. sequences less than 1 percent of new samples, compared to around 10 percent in the U.K., meaning many dangerous mutations may be missed. So these variants could be more widespread than we know? Very likely. And I think that sequencing is going to be vital in detecting that. And scientists here also tell us the vaccines will likely need to be redesigned by the end of this year to adapt to new mutations. Anne-Marie. So, Roxana, England has started house-to-house -house COVID testing in some communities, people literally going to people's homes. And I guess, how does it work? Are they testing them at the front door? And is it su successful? Have they been able to find cases that otherwise probably would have gone unnoticed? Yeah, they are testing door to door. They're knocking on people's doors and testing them at home. They're also testing people at mobile units like this. Now, this is happening in eight areas across England right now. About 100 cases of the South Africa variant have been found across England, and that's specifically what scientists are looking for. Now, what's so worrying about that variant is that it's been found to be uh, more infectious, and also there is concern that it could be more resistant to COVID-19 vaccines. Now, we spoke to scientists who specifically looked at the effect on the Pfizer vaccine, and they told us that they found that it became slightly less, uh, that the, the vaccine was slightly less effective in preventing infections when it came to the South Africa variant. They said, though, that more research needs to be done, more, uh, more studies need to be done, and we also need to keep an eye out for those new mutations. And that's where they say the sequencing of the COVID-19 genome becomes so crucial. Anne-Marie. So true. So how efficient is the UK's coronavirus mapping and sequencing efforts? And, you know, and can we learn from that here in the U.S.? 
Yeah, well, the U.S. is ramping up its genomic sequencing, but it still lags far behind. The Biden administration has asked the government for more funding for the U.S. program. Here in England, it's very organized. There's a nationwide program, and it's also largely government funded. What happens is that hospitals, labs, and scientists across the country work together. They gather samples of COVID-19, and then I'm going to simplify this process for you. But basically, robots go through those samples and pick out the positive ones. And then the DNA is basically digitized so that scientists can sequence that DNA on computers and then analyze it and look for new mutations. The UK has so far sequenced hundreds of thousands of genomes of COVID-19. Now, this is about half of all the genomes that have been sequenced in the world. And then what they do is they share their data with other countries. Anne-Marie? Wow, that is truly fascinating. Roxana, thank you so much.